You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers from Monday, April 8th, all the way through Friday, April 19th, which is going to take us almost to the cusp of May sweeps. We've got big stuff happening, building up to sweeps, and I can't wait to unpack it all for you. And I also have some big preemption news. So if you have not, please reach down, click subscribe, so you don't miss any of our General Hospital updates. And now let's dive right in. Monday, April 8th, get ready to watch the eclipse either out in your yard if you're lucky to be close enough to see it or on ABC where they're doing a special called Eclipse Across America that will completely and totally preempt General Hospital in all time zones across the country. And that means Tuesday, April 9th is our first new episode of the week. We have Jason meeting with someone and asking for a favor and Diane tells someone that they're with someone working behind the scenes to do them a favor. She may be talking to Jason about what went down at his court hearing. It's not clear if Jagger might have used some of his FBI influence to get his his informant back out on the streets. And Olivia Falconeri is busy complaining about Nina Reeves. And John Cates is in trouble, possibly serious, dangerous trouble, when Carly happens upon him and rides to the rescue, which is kind of cool. Michael talks to Willow about her career. And Sonny rants to Ava about Drew hiring the woman who put him in prison, a.k.a. Nina. So Sonny still has a grudge against his ex. I don't think he's going to put up with her not signing those papers much longer. And Sonny is also in a rage about Jason again. And Drew argues with Nina and things get very heated between them. And Christina is a little freaked out by the way that Ava is behaving. She's extremely suspicious about her dad's roommate. Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. After saving him, Carly sees something different in Jagger. And I wonder if it's going to be something appealing. I like their vibe together. I don't know what you guys think. Drew and Nina continue their conversation and they finally hammer out an agreement that is pretty surprising. I'm excited to see that. Curtis Ashford hits another huge, huge milestone in his recovery. I imagine soon we're going to see him walking without that cane. Jason and Sonny get together and things are not pretty between the former best friends. And Ava searches Sonny's penthouse for something likely while he's off talking to Jason. Thursday, April 11th, 2024, Curtis comes to Drew and he has a business proposition for his best friend. And Alexis is updated on how her appeal to get her law license restored is going. Chase surprises his fiance, Brooklyn Quartermain. And Anna Devane wants Valentine Cassidy help. This spoiler in particular is very interesting because Anna is desperate to figure out who is running Pikeman now that Brennan is stuck in Pattonville. Of course, she has no idea that her ex-boyfriend Valentine has taken on the role, but Anna does know that Valentine was doing work with Pikeman because she had dug through some of his confidential papers while he was staying at the suite at the Metricourt with her. That was the same suite that Charlotte, his daughter, Van Remember, a couple of days before that, I think Anna had gone through his papers and seen some Pikeman stuff. So she might be trying to to get info from him, which might just put him on high alert that she's somebody he's got to keep this secret from because she will not take it well. And Nina, as usual, gets the wrong idea about something and leaps to a conclusion. And I'm sure it's something to do with Sunny, but we'll see. Friday, April 12th, we have Sasha Gilmore happy with Cody Bell at the stables. I am so excited about these two getting closer and closer, and I hope we finally see a real spark between them when it gets into May sweeps. And Tracy sits down with her granddaughter, Brooklyn Quartermain. They have a serious heart to heart. And I'm sure it's in advance of her wedding that I feel certain we're going to get in May sweeps as well. 
Lucy Co. has a very, very, very bad day when deception is again featured on Home and Heart. And I hope we get some more scenes with Morgan Fairchild for that. Remember, Lucy wanted a second face of deception to handle those appearances when Blaze's mom, Natalia, said that Allie could not do the, the pimping of the products for them. So I'm curious to see if Lucy herself decides to go on camera or if she gets somebody else. Jason has something that he wants to give to Carly and Gregory is there to encourage Alexis. I'm quite certain it's about her law license stuff. All right, that takes us into the second week, which is April 15th through 19th. And again, this is the week before sweep. So the following week starts on the 22nd of April and May sweeps actually starts on April 25th. So there's going to be big, big buildup in this week of April 15th as we head into sweeps. Watch for Sunny Corinthos's mental health spiral to get wildly out of control. He, it, it's understandable that he's frustrated with Carly and with Michael and with Jason, which he would be even under the best of circumstances, but these are not the best of circumstances and he is coming unglued. And I think we're going to see him swirling and circling the drain in May sweeps. The question is, how far is he going to go and how close will he he get to Ava before this all comes out? Will she actually hit the sheets with him? I mean, she already got a kiss, so mm, very interesting. And once the truth comes out about Sunny's meds, by the way, I feel very certain that Ava is going to be a scapegoat for what Valentine has done simply because of her history of doing similar things with him and Morgan. And a search for the new Pikeman boss heats up as Valentine scrambles to cover his tracks to prevent his ex-lover from finding Finding out he's the new big bad boss of the mercenary group. This is not going to go well when it comes out. I just wonder exactly, though, what she can get him on. I mean, Pikeman is a legal business. And so I just wonder exactly what evidence she thinks she can prosecute them on because it is a government contractor with licenses and it is a legitimate business. Jagger is going to amp up the pressure on Jason. He's also desperate to get to the bottom of the Pikeman mess as well. And Valentine, of course, will be pleased to find out that his plot against Sonny is working and the mob boss is spiraling out of control. The evolution of Drew and Nina's working relationship takes a strange turn and Alexis gets even closer to having her law license restored but continues to battle her nerves and anxiety. And it's not helped by Portia Robinson's stance and her anger at her because Portia is increasingly on edge at the prospect that Mayor Laura Collins wants to revisit Heather Weber's hook killer convention conviction based on what was happening with her heavy metal poisoning from that hip implant. Gregory's health takes a sharp downturn downturn as we get closer to the wedding and he's going to get more secretive about what's going on with his prognosis and trying to hide his escalating symptoms at least until we get to the wedding. Those are all of our two week spoilers for General Hospital. Hey, if you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe. Definitely drop your comments on what you are excited to see and come back here every single day because we are talking General Hospital seven days a week and as always, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 